Hey, what's up, guys? Boy here, Robux Tutorial Zone, and welcome back to another video. And today, before I have this video start, um, there's gonna be a text that pops up on the screen right now, right somewhere here, and it's gonna be to my Roblox group because I have a Roblox group now. And yeah, and then um, I also have a website, but I'm still working on it, so I don't, I won't have the link yet. So yeah. Anyhow, let's work on here. So I got two characters. I'm not a art designer for um, Roblox, so yeah. So the best I could do was whoop, for my characters were these. Because oh, oh no, what happened to the arm? No, my masterpiece. No, what the heck actually happened? Is it just like glitched? I hope it glitched. Um, hold up. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, their left upper arm. The transfer is zero. Um, let's see if this works. I have for the small one, um, I have to edit the humanoid. I had to do that, so I did that. And, oh wait, oop, wrong thing. So yeah. After so long. Okay, so I'm just gonna play this, so I'm gonna probably speed this up. And voila, my arm is working. It was just a glitch. That's good. So just some weird glitch. Anyhow, I'm gonna put these guys back in the server storage. Inky. Small inky. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna do like a um, hyphen right there because I'm um, in the code I don't want to add because if you have a space then in the code you'll have to add hold up oh yeah and did I use that no I was gonna use it but I didn't I was gonna use um what's it called replicated script service but I didn't use it I was because at first it wasn't working I was gonna say insert that but you don't need to it just replicated script service is the same thing as server script service, but it doesn't use server scripts. I mean, it does use server scripts and module scripts, but it can also do local scripts. So you can do that all three of them in the same thing to install. I mean, to um, get replicated script service, you go up to model and these two little gears, and then you find replicated script service and click insert. And if you don't have the teams anymore, then the teams are there, then all this other stuff. But we won't need any of that for now. At least I don't think we'll need any of it in this tutorial series. Like the whole series. So yeah. Anyhow. Um. Hmm, what was I going to... Oh yeah. Our main handler is really long. So make sure you have your project published so if you don't have it go to game settings and then it'll, you'll see this click publish and you can publish it as a game piggy and not piggy inky inky so when i'm all finished with the series you guys will literally be able to play this and I'm going to have icons. I'll show you guys how to do that at the end. But anyhow. Oh yeah. I'm going to go and quickly change my name. So yeah. I'll be right back.
Okay. So, I'm pretty sure that's how you spell Inky. That's at least how I've been spelling it. <laughs> um, now that we got that, for, cause we're gonna be testing this out in studio, if you're gonna be like publishing it and then going on to like the roll, I mean, not the Roblox, I mean on Roblox and just testing out on there, then you don't have to enable it. But if you're testing out on studio, which I probably think you guys would, <laughs> um, you wanna go to game settings, I would still recommend this. Go to security. I'm gonna enable every single thing. But the most important thing here is enable studio access to API services. Because for our leader stats, for the shop and the unbuying, we need a data store. And data store, um, you can only use that on Roblox Studio if you have that um, enable studio accesses. I mean, enable studio access to API services. So yeah, I don't, I don't studio have access to like the, um, stuff like that and before we start I remember saying that we're going to be oh yeah by the way this episode's probably gonna be long but we're gonna be adding oh, not there I don't remember where I put everything because I haven't um used this in a while I was using a different um computer and I also was um uh, I basically was using, I just made a whole nother Roblox Studio project for the thing so I could start fresh. So, anyhow, maps. So, in your spawns folder, I only have a killer spawn and a normal spawn. Let's drag this guy out. It's not good because, and plus the killer actually, I'm pretty sure spawns on the exact spawn as the player, but whatever. Um, we'll just delete this color one. So, you want to have, name this one, Spawn 1. Duplicate it. And move it to another, oops. Move it to a different spot. Just duplicate it. Move it to a different spot. You want to do that. I'm only going to have four spawns. I, when I make a bigger map, which will be a different episode, but when I do, then, um, you're going to, I mean, then I'm going to have more spawns, obviously. But, um, I'll have that speeded up. But you want to do number two. Oops, not 12. What the heck is wrong with me? Anyhow, spawn two. You just want to do it for how many spawns you have. This will help us in the long run for our spawning. So, I'm going to just. And then we're going to have to move them over for the school map because the school map's in a different spot than the, um... Actually, I should make it in the exact same spot as the house, to be honest. Let's move that back. Um, and why are the spawn... Oh, wait, that's why. I was wondering why the spawns were still showing. Because that's why. Um, for now, I'll leave the map over there. Okay, got that. So now we got to edit the uh, spawning for our player. Okay, so this is important because this thing is our thing. So we're gonna do colon, wait for child, parentheses, quotation marks. And then we'll do, oops, I actually did a capital H right there, um, spawn. S P A W N dot dot you want to do right there and we're gonna just 
we're just gonna write random and that right hold up one sec guys one sec guys Okay guys, so I think I know why it's doing that. We need a local random, oh, R-A-N-D-U-M. And now if we go look at it, it should be fine. No. Oh. Okay guys, um, I did it on a completely different project, but I figured out what I did now. So I first went on, in this spot, and I wrote dot dot, oh, I was doing that on hook. Okay, so I wrote dot dot, and the brand. I will, and then I created a new local variable of rand, oops, rand. Come on, I can't sell. Equals, and then you want to do a math dot random. So we're doing a random of one comma four, but four is the amount of spawns you have. So the one is because I have spawn one. So basically, if you have that spawn zero, then you want to write zero. And then if you had like five, then zero, four. But if you had five, from one so like one to five that would be one comma five don't you get that and so on and so on i kind of explained it confusing but i hope you guys get what i mean if you don't then just comment down below if you're having like if you're confused about this because i could help you um anyhow so yeah now when you join oh that will only work for one map so stupid <laughs> What the heck just happened there? Um, right? Yeah, it'll only work for one single map. So you, I'm just gonna copy and paste it since the, it's the exact same code. Paste. So yeah, that should be that part. Cause that's also technically the player spawn is the killer spawn or piggy spawn or whatever you wanna call it. So I got inky. Oh yeah, as you guys can see, I'm not on the, oh wait. I got a different character. Oh yeah, and I made a custom shirt for my um, group, by the way. So yeah, this is a custom shirt. And I'm probably, I'm gonna need to change these, but it looks cool with that, <laughs> those. But when I make the maps off, so, so yeah, make screenshots and I'll show you guys how to do that. So yeah. So like so, so now since um we're gonna choose player, cause yeah. And boom. And now I'm playing normally stuff. And if we wait a few seconds, right? Or oh wait, oh yeah. So I spawned on like a spawner here. So now next time I spawn should be on a different spawn. Actually, I can do something. So you don't have to do it, but I'm gonna do it. We're gonna do a print. A spawn dot dot rand basically what that's doing it's it's print blah, blah, blah. it's printing oh wait what this is basically doing it's printing um the value of what spawn we're going to be teleported to and i'm going to get rid of this 
print map clone. Because we shouldn't need that. That was just when I was showing you guys um, how it prints your username. So, yeah. This should work for any map. So, like, I'm going to probably choose the school map. But, yeah. Because I didn't put it in the house or the school. I just put it above them. So, yeah. So, before the map even is created, it should print it. It should do it when it receives that event. Right? I think... No! The map does get created. And it gets created. So, I'm going to choose the school. And I really should have this open so we can see. Because it's way too short. Okay. Yep, only one, because I just want to make sure it's working correct still. Player, and then it should auto to the bot, but I'm not going to be able to see that, so I'm going to have to make it, like, wait a few seconds before it starts the round. Because you can't even see, like, that it did that, but now we're here, and we got spawn four, so if we quickly go and, come on, come on, school, school. No! I messed up, dang it. Oh, well. So now, um, see where I am. Maps, school, spawns, spawn four. And it was right there. Yes! Haha! <laughs> we did it! So the spawning is working. At least for me. Um. So now, I'm going to just X out of this stuff. I'm going to quickly make the um, thing wait before it teleports the player. Not be like, looking at it, so... We find the camera. Script. Right, or... I don't know what script does what, to be honest. It's... I've kind of forgot. Oh, we have that on. I'm going to open up our game handler, and I'm going to go and do a find all, and I'm going to type in, so what am I going to try to find? I think I'm trying to, So, a wait. So I'm just gonna search wait and then enter. And then there's so many. Cause it kind of bothers me that, yeah. Oh yeah, and if you wanna know, cause you might. If you start out as the character, then it'll have your animations, but basically, if you, um, use the scripts, we're gonna be, like, changing the character into this. Yours might not have any scripts. How I did mine was I went and played the game. Then I went to Workspace. I went to my user, found Animate. I right-clicked on it and copied it. Since the, um... Since this guy doesn't have any health, I just didn't get the health script at all. Because I don't want him to die, so I shoot him with like the crossbow or anything. And I just pasted the animate script into him. And I'm, I used Roblox's default plugin that comes with your um, thing, the build rig. And then I went and mesh rig. And then I just found the dummy right here. Oh, 
for some reason there's something glitch but it appears perfect when you're play testing so yeah it's just something with this oh yeah so yeah but i'm just searching for this because yeah To make it shorter, I'm going to do that. Oh! That was my light script. I forgot I made that. Mm -hmm. So wait, and then I'll just do that. So then I'll show, like, all the weights. Because I don't know. Mm hmm. Literally, this is actually pretty difficult. Okay, so then when repeat, 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 wait one. I feel like it's gonna be because it's gonna wait time. Okay, I can't find it, but I don't, we'll have to do that in a different episode, because I'm going to have to look back at my videos, because I, to be honest, don't remember what script I have the waiting for the, um, things so that you're going to have to wait for the next episode, sadly, but, um, anyhow, wait, okay, you're going to have to wait till the next episode, sorry guys, um, I was searching, I can't find the wait, and I'm going to have to look through my videos, and, yeah, so I can't, I'm not going to do that right now, but let's just get on with our, the point of this video, the shop. So we're going to make the simplest shop in the world, literally, um, <clears throat> We're going to first start off with a brand new screen DUI. We're going to rename it to Shop UI. Next, I'll create a text button and then a new local script inside of this Shop UI. I'm going to currently go back here and I'm going to X out of all these but that new local script I just created. And one sec, guys, I'll be right back. Oh, wait, no. All right, everybody, I am back. Oh, oh, wait. All right, everybody, I'm back. Um, that actually took me a while. It was just literally a one second for you guys, probably. But, um, anyhow, we're gonna make... Oh, wait. Um, we're gonna make some remote events so the first remote event is going to be buy skin one it depends on how many skins you have so i have two skins so i'm going to make a remote event buy skin one and a buy skin two if you have like four then you make buy skin one buy skin two buy skin three and buy skin four but yeah so we're going to create i'm going to create two remote events Mode event by skin one. I'm going to duplicate it by skin two. Oops, not 12. What the heck is wrong with me today? Duplicate that one. I'm going to make by and not by. We're going to duplicate that, but we're going to change it from by to equip. E Q U I P equip skin two. Duplicate. And lastly, equip skin one. And those were the four remote events we need. Those were like the ones that we needed. So now, we should have a killer. Yep. Next, we're going to create our main handler. We're going to start with our 
um, leader and bleh. we're gonna start with our data store too. So create a brand new script. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure which one builds what. So I'm gonna rename this one to our main. Oh wait, no, not main. Leader stats. Enter, and then I'm gonna rename this one to map handle because this is our map handler. Whoops. You could also rename, if you want to have this one as a handler, you can make it like leaderboard handler or leader stats handler or something like that. Also, I made my text bigger, by the way, just because why not? Alrighty, so basically, Already, I okay. Know. So now we're going to in our um main handler, we're going to do vocal DSS. This basically stands for data store service because we're going to be making this equal to we're going to get the games, we're going to get a game, we're going to get a service from the game the data store service this is the thing for our data store next we're going to create our um so the data store is going to be equal to your data store service and we're going to get our data store so next you can write really anything in here but i'm going to write inky because i'm going to write my name and then so inky shop that's gonna be my data store thing um next we're gonna do a game um players function so game i'm gonna go two enters down um like this because it makes it look neater game dot players dot player added this i mean then connect connect function then you're going to want to do a con then you want to do a connect function player enter enter local lead leader stats is going to be equal to a instant an instance dot new so a brand new folder we're gonna parent this to our player that's what comma player means or you could write leaders that stop parent equals player but we're just i'm just gonna do this so then i'm gonna do leaders that stop name is gonna be leader stats enter enter local coins is going to be equal to a brand new int value oops i n t an int value we're going to do comma leader stats to parent this to our leader stats next our coins dot name is going to be equal to ink e coins enter coins dot value gonna equal to zero enter enter local owns skin one equals an instant dot new an int value parenting this to our Oh wait, oops, oh sorry. Not an int value, a bool value. 
and then we're parenting this to our player this time because we don't want this to pop up in our leader stats actually i'll show you guys how to get rid of these stats i'm just going to do leader stats for testing we'll get rid of that after or actually no we don't even need leader stats so you can delete this leader stats because you aren't going to want it to pop up we're going to add a gui yeah we're going to add a gui so just parent your coin just parent your coins into your um player instead so now we're going to do our own skin one dot name is going to be equal to owns skin one now we're going to change our value for our own skin one to be equal to true because the skin one is going to be um free so we're making this one true so now you can just duplicate this we we'll copy and paste Oh yeah, if you see that white thing like that, see that little thing, just hit insert on your keyboard. So now we're going to paste this and then do two. I'm going to change all of these to two. Perfect. And it depends on how many, this one also depends on how many skins you're going to have. So like if you have four, then you're going to add like two more of these. So it's own skin two, I mean, one, two, three, and four. Oh yeah, make sure you change this one to false. Now we're going to create a new int. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to paste and then change the values. So it's more faster. Skin EQ. No, it's actually one Q, sorry. Skin equipped. This one's important for when we're saving the um, skin to, like, because we're going to make it so. You know how in Peggy, when you buy your skin and equip it, and then you leave, and then you join back, and then you play around, and then you're the killer, you still have that skin on? That's the reason for this. Since this is not a bool value, just make it the value equal to zero. We're gonna do um, numbers for this because the reason why I did this was because originally I was gonna do a string value, but string values don't save correctly with data store. At least it wasn't saving correctly for me. So we're just gonna do zeros and like numbers. Well, not zeros. Numbers so like zero, just nothing. Then one, it's going to be skin one, two is going to be skin two, and so on and so on. So now, player dot owns skin one dot value. Oh yeah, by the way, this um tutorial is probably going to be a little bit longer. Actually, no, not a little bit longer. It's going to be a probably a long video. By the way. Just to let all you guys know. So yeah. So the value is going to be equal to true. For the own skin one. And doing this. Just so then. The data store knows. That the value is supposed to be true. Just in case if I did not make it already true. Next we're going to add four new variables. A local. Data one enter local data two we're just going to keep doing this till we get reach four four oops not three data three local data four well it also this also <laughs> depends on how many skins you have so if you have four i keep using four for some reason as an example if you have four then you're going to want to have six of these because these two are for my skins. I mean, not for my skins. These two are for my, um, this one's for my coins. This one's for my skin. This one's for my other skin. And this one's for my skin equipped it. So if you had four, then you would need two more because it would be one, two, three, and the four. And the other one. So yeah. 
hopefully this all makes sense. So now we're going to do a local success, comma, error message. Because we need to know if there's an error message. Then we're going to make this a P call. So function, parentheses, make sure to delete one, enter. So you'll have this. Um, data one is going to be equal to our data store colon, then we're going to, oops, not that one, kind of colon, colon get, and then we're going to get a, a sync, A-S-Y, A-S-Y, and C, because we're going to get this, um, so put parentheses, player dot user ID. The user ID is important, because we're going to get, oops, that's the ID, the player's user id we're getting that so we can identify what players what because a player can't have the same id as another player that's impossible on roblox so basically what this is going to do is only make this available to that player so it's, so yeah and um you can technically have the same ID, I guess, if you're logging into the account. Not if you're creating one. Only if you're logging to, into it. So you would have to know the password to be able to access their data. So yeah. But then after the user ID, you write dot dot. Put quotation marks. Right? Hyphen. Which a hyphen is this little minus. Um, so hyphen coins. Because you want to put the same name right there to on there. So yeah. Copy it, paste, paste, paste. For how many times you have it. I just did it four, obviously. So I'm just going to keep doing this. And you want to just change it to for how many things you have. So yeah. It's pretty simple. So now I'm just going to... Okay, so now, um, we're gonna check if, um, there was success, because if it was a success, then we will set our coins, dot value, to be equal to our data one. Next, we'll set our owns, skin one, dot value, to our data two. So on and so on. Oh, let's get two dot value is going to be equal to our data three. And then lastly, my equipped skin or my skin equipped sorry dot value equals data four. Now I'm going to write else enter 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 warn oops warn error message. Okay. Just so if there's an error message, then you'll see it in the output, by the way. Enter, enter. Game dot replicated storage dot remote events dot buy skin one dot on a server event will connect a brand new function. Delete that one. Right, PLR. Enter plr dot leader stats dot coins dot value is going to be a minus equals to zero enter because if you want to search subtract an amount usually how i usually do it is by doing this but equal to that minus zero but now actually you can actually do this Boom. You can do that. Oh, oh, wait, no. Minus. Ugh, I keep messing this up. Well, pretend that was 100. Then I would subtract 100. Or any number. So, yeah. Anyhow. Now we're going to change our player. Not our own skin value. Well, our own skin one, this is the skin one, dot our value is going to be equal to true. Next, we'll print owns skin one. Because you just bought that, so you'll own it. Down, enter, enter. 
we can copy and paste. So now we're going to start with our equipping skin one, but before we do that, I'm going to just go down. Place. I'm just going to do this part, so I'm just going to do this quickly. Paste. So I have four of these. Buy skin one, equip skin one. Buy skin two, and equip skin two. That's what we're, they're all of them are going to be for. This one, we're going to subtract 100 from their score because that's how much it's going to cost. Oh, wait, oh, wait. This one's going to be our equipped. Oops. Um. So, yeah. Sorry, I accidentally cut in there. That was my bad. I accidentally got rid of that route PLR for a minute. Because I thought I had to do that. I messed up. Oops. Um. So, that's the buy. So, we can leave this leader step. We'll just keep make this an equals one delete the leader steps and the dot coins just have dot skin equipped this is so then we can um change our skin equipped value so then our scripts know that it's one so now we'll change our character so we'll get our we'll not change it we're gonna make the script to change it. So first, we're gonna, we'll buy it. <laughs> I know, but we're gonna make the script to equip our skin now. So we're gonna get our character. So before we do all of that, we need to, I forgot to do this. Anyhow, EQ, Q, oh not Q. It's not two Qs, what's wrong with me? EQ, U, I, P, P, E, D, skin one. Equipped skin one. That's important. So now we're gonna get our character. So we're gonna go to our player So now we're gonna do our PLR dot character We're gonna make a variable local custom C U S T O M Char it's gonna be equal to a game dot server server storage dots okay so now here's an issue it won't let work yeah because we need to do something so i haven't i haven't added the full script here but the reason is because hold up let me just oh i never continue Basically, we need to add a folder called skins. Create a new folder in it called skin1. Add your character into it. Create it, oops, into that skin1. Create a new folder. Name it skin2 and so on and so on for how many characters you got. I only have two for now. There will obviously be more in the future, but for now I only have two. So yeah. Okay, so um Okay, guys. So I know I just added the leader stats and we aren't finished with it, but I'm terribly sorry. Um we never continued the shop UI. I forgot about it. Oops. So I'm terribly sorry. So let's just show that. Let's just show that these are shop. So we already have a button for it. So we're gonna create some scripts. Just give me a sec. Sorry about the clicking, I'm using a different computer. That's what I wrote all the scripts on. So I'm just trying to find out. 
Um, okay. So I'm going to create some local variables. First, our player. It's going to be equal to game.players.local player. Since this is a local script, this will work. But if this was a server script, also known as normal scripts or module, it will not work. This only works to no local scripts. You have to do it other ways than no scripts. Anyhow, script.parent.parent.mainmenu. Dot frame, I think the word is main frame. There we go. Dot shop btn dot on mouse button one click home connect. I know this is kind of a long script so far, and we haven't even finished. We're gonna actually get rid of that function parentheses enter. So, yeah, that's kind of long, but not really. All we're really doing of this is just getting the parent of this local script, then getting the other parent, which is started UI, then we're accessing our main menu frame. Then we're going into our main frame and we're then detecting, I mean, then we're getting our shut button and then on click of that, it will connect a function to, and what we're gonna do is go to script.parent, dot dot parent again, dot main menu, dot, enabled equals false enter so now if we just test this out quickly it should be it should um just when we click on our shop button it should just hide the main menu don't worry if you get this error And I messed up, I actually wrote equipped. It's equip skin, so you yeah, have to fix that. So yeah, now that worked. Let me just fix that one extra. So yeah, we'll fix that error in a minute when we um, edit that other script. But right now we need to do this. So we're gonna have this disabled by default, but we'll have it enabled right now. Um, but yeah, we'll enable that one in the script. So we'll do script.parent.enabled equals true because that will be disabled by default but for now we need it enabled add a frame one sec Okay, guys, I am back. I would just, sorry about all the stuff is closing now. I just was installing a plugin. It was the rescale GUI thing in the personal GUI rescaler. Because this plugin's the best plugin in the world. Because literally it rescales it perfect to fit like perfectly on a phone. Because like it makes it look identical to how it looked on a computer. See? It's a little buggy when you click on it like that, but on a phone, it will look exactly like this. Like, how amazing is that? So, yeah. I'm so happy that they, that this thing exists. Um, this shop won't be really doing it. I mean, it's not the best shop in the world, but it's just going to do the job that we need it to do. So least it's going to do the job. So I'm going to make it transparent 0 0.5 black. We're going to disable our main menu for now just so that we can see this. Um, we're going to name our frame mm -hmm, shop frame. Next we're going to click this plus we're going to add a tag, I mean, an image label. I'm going to add that right there. I'm going to hold a button. I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to drag it. 
I'm gonna make mine 150 pixels by 150 pixels. If you hold shift and drag the corner, then it'll change the whole th size. Like, you can't mess it up. See? Eh. So yeah. Let me just perfect this. Okay. So now, I'm gonna add a UI grist layer. I UI grid layout, not grist. I was trying to think, I was trying to say list, but grid at the exact same time. I don't know why I was trying to say list, but it's a grid layout. I'm going to, um, cell padding, maybe 50, no, zero comma 100 comma zero comma 100. I actually don't know what that does, so I'll just leave that how it was by default. I want to try something. Hold up. I'm going to make mine 90, like that. And then, oh, I know what soul padding does now. Is there a cell, like, position? No, Dana. There's only... I was really hoping of there being a position. That really sucks. Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. I have another idea. We can add another frame in this, and we can put the UI grid layout in that, and then the image label in that, and then we can move this over here, and like that, how you want it. And if you want to add a scrolling thing like Piggy, then just add a scrolling frame, which I'll add. You just have to do the exact same thing. So, like, copy the size. Undo. Copy the size. And position and everything. East. The position. And then we can delete our frame, our scrolling frame. Our scrolling direction, we'll just do our X, no. So look, now we got scrolling, but we need to add it so then we can have it like on the bottom, right? So, okay guys, so I'm back and figured it out. So to create like a horizontal bar like this, you're gonna want to go to your canvas size. I went to X, I changed my Y to zero comma zero, then my scale to two and offset to zero, but if you change your offset, you can, well, your offset is just like how f far it's gonna be. So like if you change it to five, it would be like a little farther away from that. So yeah, but we are gonna change that. This scale, is important because if you do like 10 then see how tiny it is so I'm going to do 5 so it's a little bit tinier and then I also change my scrolling direction to X and then I'm going to change this guy to 10 so it's a little thinner so now oops but now look at that and now it's an actual scrollable thing Isn't that really cool so yeah So now we can do that same trick I was showing you guys. Oh wait. Um. Okay, so now our scrolling frame, we can change the background transparency to completely one. And it'll be like this. It's just I'm gonna make my line probably gone from my scrolling frame and I'm gonna change the color of the uh, scrolling bar. So we're gonna make this our Two five five comma two five five two two five five. Next, we're gonna go and one, no, two. I'm gonna copy this. Oh wait, no. Cut enter. Okay. Copy. 
Hot enter. To be honest, I don't know how to get rid of the black line. And so yeah, I had that left. Sorry, I'm gonna change. I changed it back to right. If you guys could tell me how to get rid of that black line, that would be really helpful. Because I don't know how to get rid of it. And I just noticed there's a little bit of like that, but hopefully it's all fine. I'm just change I'm just trying to like figure out some stuff. So I'm gonna change my transparency to 0 0.5 to make it like a little bit transparent. Cause that makes it look nicer. Next I'm going to do So yeah. Um, I was just checking out something. This actually is looking pretty good, but we're going to add a text button on this now. I'm just trying to get it. Oops. I want to get it different than Piggy, but I also want it to be the same as Piggy. It's hard to like try to make it different, but also the same. So we're going to make this one say equip P because, oh wait, no, unequipped. Uh, we aren't going to make it say unequipped because, you know what, we'll just make it say equipped because it's never going to say unequipped and I'm not going to make it say anything else. I'm only going to make it say buy if you need to buy it, but it's already bought by default. So we're going to make this one say 255 comma 255. 255 text scaled on my favorite font cartoon well my favorite um roblox font background transparency one and if you want to uh oh wait no not background transparency one oops um 0 0.5 color green i don't i think that's red yep um yellow zero comma two five five comma zero i'm pretty sure and then i think green's two five five comma two five five this is probably yellow yep dang it i was probably wrong i think this one's actually green yeah that one's green sorry i am um, for some reason messing up my colors codes um roblox and then we're gonna get rid of the outline of this guy Next, we're gonna hide our UI. I'm gonna make some images quickly of my um of my characters. So if you wanna know how to do that, if you're using Windows, you can actually do it super simple. So get your character. Oh, my arm's working now. And then put them in whatever background you want. I'd prefer. I'm gonna put it in like this background, or you can put it behind a green screen. I'm actually gonna do it in a green screen. Because if you do them in a green screen, it's better because um, you just want to make everything green. Because um, you can take out the background and stuff. So yeah, if you have a green screen. So you can just make a room for it. Make your green screen room. Okay. I'm gonna select all that but that guy. I'm gonna make it all green. Like bright green. Shadows off. 
looks really bright in there. We're gonna group it all together. And this is my green screen room. So now if you're on Windows, you can use something called Snipping Tool. It's this little thing. You just hit New. It'll do this. If you guys can see, there's like a white thing. And then you can select something. Just draw your character. See how I did that? And then Save As. Hopefully you guys saw it. And then we can do um, Inky enter and then we're gonna go and go back to Roblox drag this guy all the way back in there skins work space boom this guy we're gonna make it I'm gonna make this like this select and go like that now I'm gonna come back in here Come on. Is there a way to. Yes, there you go. Oh, I had it selected in the background. Oh, well, I'll have to fix that in a minute. I have an idea how to fix it. Save as. Inky 2. Hold up. I have an idea on how to fix it. We could just go like this. And then it'll. Um, so now, okay, so I'm just gonna quickly do this part, okay, file, save as inky, save yes x out and then i use paint.net you guys could use gimp or some other online i mean not online you guys could use an online tool or some other like um photo editor program but i use paint.net i'll have a link in the description to their website um not now oops so and I'm gonna go like that. So I'm gonna open downloads or wherever you, your things got saved. And then click on your image, open, and then boom. I'm gonna op open a new image. Inky 2. So I don't have to do that later. Boom. They're both different sizes, but whatever. Um, we can click on the background like that and then delete and then all of it's gone same with this guy delete oh no <laughs> that just deleted part of him oh great it thinks that um why is it think that's not good because he's not even green So it left a whole green piece, but it's fine. I'm gonna get rid of that in a minute. Hold up. I'm gonna get this back, but I'm just gonna change the tolerance a little bit. To like zero, maybe. Like that. And delete the background. And then we're gonna go like this. And delete that. Now we're gonna go File. Save All. I'm gonna press Enter. And then Enter again. Either you can upload your thing on the Roblox website. Hold up. You can either upload it on the Roblox website and then copy the um, numbers in the URL. I'm going to delete this now. Actually, I'll leave it for now. We'll close screen screen. Green screen. Just in case if we need it in a future video. For like anything. Because I don't want to remake green screen. So yeah, I'll just leave that for now. I'm putting it over there so then it doesn't get in the way of the maps. But anyhow, um, now that we got that, I'm gonna hope that it will work, um, 
sometimes you can click on an image or decal and go to here and then oh dang it's not working today you can sometimes click on it and there will be like a little thing and you can select an image i guess i'll just have to do it through their website um so go on to realwalks.com create decals choose downloads choose your image open upload choose a file next image open upload click on it double click on that that copy those numbers click on MP number two i'm going to drag this over here on the other screens and i can just have the other number pulled up now we're going to paste the numbers press enter Now I'm going to go to my UI grid layout. I'm going to go to cell padding. And then I'm going to go 0, I mean not 0. So 5, 10, I guess. No, 20, sorry. Let's try that. Bigger number. Whoa, I guess I wrote 200. Oops, that wasn't 20. <laughs> Anyhow, we'll do 20 on the Y too, just so then why not um <laughs> hey that's hilarious <laughs> not really um still size fifty whoa that's way too short seventy you can barely even see the image oh my gosh maybe you should one billion <laughs> One zero 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 zero. Okay, that seems like a number. That's good. Oh wow, that seems pretty good. Just kidding, obviously. That'd be hilarious. Though. Oh my! That's not terrifying at all. <laughs> I think that's too short. You know what? Let's try that. Oh yeah, that's so huge. <laughs> okay, to be all serious now, eighty. Eh, pretty good. Yes, then we can do 95. And actually, I had it perfect already. So, we'll leave it like that. Next, we'll go to the next image. I don't know if it's hard for you guys to see it, but it is for sure hard to see it for me. So as you guys can see, they're two different sizes. If you can see it. <laughs> um, but anyhow. Yeah. And then we're going to change the text on this one to buy. B-U-Y. And it's going to be red. The background. So 255 comma 0. Comma 0. Enter. That's red. Now, my shop actually looks really nice already. And then to show how much it costs, we're going to add a little text label. It's going to be the tiniest thing because the, price, oh, the prices are really tiny. That seems pretty good. So now we'll do our background transparency one. So that will get rid of my border for me. And then we'll do cartoon. zero and text scaled on voila and then I'll just put a dollar sign in front of it so basically to tell the player it's completely free for at least this one copy paste oh undo copy 
be pasted into. Oh wow, that actually looks amazing. 100. <laughs> Ta-da! Now this shop is actually looking great. Isn't it? I think it is. It's already coming along, actually. And then... Yeah. I guess that's really... The shop. It's just like, we need to add, like... We only did the UI and stuff. And yeah. So yeah. Gonna split this into two parts. So I know I said this was gonna be a long episode, but yeah. So I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment down below so you'll never miss one of my videos. Thanks for watching everybody. Goodbye. I, Robux Tutorial Zone, am out. Have a safe and fantastic rest of your day. Bye bye. And yeah, I know all the scripts aren't done. But that literally will be next episode. So yeah. Peace. Bye.